Hi, for this recording, we are going to solve the following problem in space. An ant is moving along a path on the xy plane, given by the parametric equation rt equal to et i plus e minus tj. First part is find the velocity and the acceleration a at any time t. Second part, if the acceleration is a t, t plus a and n, where n is the principal unit normal to the curve and t is the unit tangent not vector given by the formula a t equal to v dot a over length of v and a n equal to length of v cross a over length of v find a t, a n, t, n and at t equal to 0 Let's look at the solution to find the velocity and acceleration first So we are given the position at any time In this case, r t here is equal to e t i plus e minus t j. So to find the velocity is r prime of t now. Differentiate this with respect to t. That is the velocity. All right, velocity at any time. And this will equal to differentiate e power t with respect to t and differentiate e power minus t with respect to t on the power i and j. Now differentiate e power t get e power t. Differentiate e power minus t get negative e power minus t j. And this is the velocity r prime t. Now the acceleration in this case is a t here is equal to rate of change of velocity which is the second derivative of the position. So differentiate one more time. So differentiate e of t i minus differentiate e of minus t j. And this time you get differentiate e power t get e power t. And differentiate e power minus t get negative e power minus t. Together with the minus sign become plus now. Plus of e power minus t j. So let's find out what happens when t equals 0. So when t equals 0, the velocity at 0 equals r prime at 0 is e power 0, i minus e power minus 0, j, which is equal to r i minus j. And the acceleration at time t equals 0 is equal to r double prime at 0 is equal to e power 0 i plus e power minus 0 j equal to i plus j by substituting t equal to 0 into velocity as a, an acceleration. Second part, we are going to find out what is a sub t. So the part b now, a sub t is equal to v dot a over the length of v. So v in this case is i minus j. We find out earlier a in this case is i plus j. And the length of v in this case is square root of 1 square plus 1 square where the length of i minus j which is the length of v now it's just square root of 1 square plus minus 1 square and this is square root 2 so the denominator is square root 2 the numerator is equal to dot product of i and i is 1 dot product of i and j is 0 dot product of minus 1 and 1 minus j and j get minus 1 so you get minus 1 here so in the end you get 0 over square root 2 so a sub t here is 0 over square root 2 which is 0 after you do the dot product where the operation here is the scalar product or dot product here. 
Then let's look at the a sub n now. A sub n is equal to the length of v cross a over the length of v. We have found that the length of v is square root 2. So this is square root 2 over the length of v cross a. Now what is v cross a in this case? So note that cross product of v and a is equal to i j k where the v in this case is i minus j zero k and a is i plus j zero k so the cross product of this case in this case will be k times one minus one 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 after you expand the determinant so you get k times one minus minus one is equal to two k Therefore, the length of v cross a is equal to the length of 2k is equal to 2. That means that a n now is equal to 2 over square root 2, which is square root 2. That's how you find a n. Next, we're going to find out what is the unit tangent vector t. What is the unit tangent vector now? If, uh, according to Howard Anton chapter 13, section 4, it says that the unit tangent vector t is equal to r prime t over the length of r prime t. So, let's find out what is unit tangent now. It's r prime t over the length of r prime t, which is actually the v over the length of v. Now v in this case at time t equal to zero is i minus j and the length of i of v is square root two so this is the the t now. Then how you do you find the unit normal vector now? We're gonna use the instead of using the, the usual formula of unit normal vector which can we can found in Howard Anton, it says that the unit normal vector is t prime over the length of t prime but however we are not going to do this we are going to use the formula we obtained so we use a equal to a t t plus a n n we are going using this to find out what is n now we know earlier at acceleration is i plus j we are in a calculation a t was zero, so we don't need to know what is t here. And a n was square root two, so that means that we have n. The unit tangent vector is unit normal vector is one over square root two i plus j. So that finish the answer we have a unit normal vector we have a unit tangent vector we have find out what is a t and a n we find out what is a n we find out what is a t that is the end of the recording